good evening everyone and welcome you to welcome to this beautiful channel named geeks for geek school thank you very much for joining this tutorial first of all and i would like to welcome all the students who have uh, joined in through my channel this tutorial the name of which is gaurav kumar jain thank you very much everyone so on the scratch platform and the name of the game is as you all know it very well soccer game it's a soccer game that we are going to develop today in scratch platform right so the first thing which i would like to start from is uh, you know if you if any one of you is a beginner and if he doesn't know out all these tips he can use for accessing the scratch online platform so what you can do you can simply type over here scratch online okay in the search box of google and when you hit the enter button it will redirect you to the uh, web page we right on the top you will be able to see the hyperlink of scratch online website right so this is the one i was talking about you can simply click on this hyperlink to get yourself redirected to uh, the beautiful scratch platform so and if you want you can note down the so if you will type it directly in the browser and hit the enter button automatically you are going to come on this beautiful scratch website now in order to access the scratch platform what you can do you can come down over here and this header part you will see platform right so whoever is new on this platform let me tell you uh, that you can uh, define you can make different kind of applications on this platform so all the codes over here you can find the form of blocks right which you can define in the coding workspace so uh, basically this environment of scratch is divided into three different parts uh, this first section consists of all the blocks you can make use of right uh, so we do not have text based coding on this we only have block based coding on scratch right so you can simply drag and drop these blocks over here in this workspace this is the coding workspace on which you can define the codes right and if you want to eliminate this you can put it back like this and automatically it will go away right so that's the second part of this environment where you can define all the codes now comes the third part where we have this playground right on the top okay and here you can define the various sprites now if you want to control those sprites you need codes and these are the codes with which you can control the movement and can make the sprite do whatever you want to okay and then we have this uh, uh, property section so whatever you are going to put over here on this playground automatically the property of the sprite or the background uh, you will be able to see over here in this section so that's how that's uh, the uh, brief about this scratch interface right okay so let's now begin with uh designing first that app that game which we are here for and the name of the game is soccer game now you know by default when you will come on this uh, when you will come on this scratch platform by default you will find this pin button and it will automatically go away right okay let's now come up and the first thing i would like to do is i would like to define a good background you know a relevant background for my game so for that we will uh, we can make use of this option named choose a backdrop so if you want to upload your own backdrop if you have designed your own backdrop and you want to uh, you know upload it and you want to see it in the on this playground so you can make use of this option and if you want to search for a backdrop uh, in the backdrop library of scratch so you can make use of this option or you can simply click on this 
uh, icon over here which will redirect you to the backdrop library of scratch now here you will see all the kinds of uh, uh, you know backgrounds which are available uh, to us on the scratch platform by default if you want you can use any one of them just by a simple click uh, let's use it or else if you want you can go for this one also but we do not have any goal post over here in this sprite so I think this will be a better choice let's select this so how can you uh, make it uh, how can you get it on your playground you just simply have to click on this and automatically scratch will define for you this background over here on this playground like this right so how amazing it it is looking right now uh, what else do we require that we have to see so we require a soccer ball with which we can play right we have everything over here we have this uh, you know goal we have this these lines over here the background is also perfectly fine right so uh, how can you access this sprites library of scratch you can simply come down over here right in the properties section and this is the icon with which you can get yourself redirected to the scratch library now when you will bring your cursor on this icon automatically a menu kind of thing is going to open up right on the top of which you will see this upload sprite button with the help of which you can upload any sprite uh, on this beautiful playground if you want to draw your own sprite you can make use of that either you can go with this option or you can simply click on this icon so that's that is the scratch sprites library i was talking about let's see if we can get a good uh, you know a relevant sprite from here so i'm looking for a soccer ball if i type ball over here so these are some options which are available to me over here in this scratch uh, or the scratch platform okay said okay so i have this football now over here on this playground but uh, i want to change its uh, position so how can we do that we can simply drag it and you know uh, now if you want to suppose uh, see it at this position so you can just drag it and release your uh, left click so when you release it automatically the ball will take the position where you released the click it will take the position of that point right okay so we are done with defining a soccer ball over here on this playground there is one more thing which i need and that is a goalie right which can uh, uh, you know which can act as a second player right so what we can do we can come down over here and again we can visit the sprites library of scratch let's see if we can get a good option over here i think i can type the same so it's a goalie which i have uh, defined now uh, over here on this playground let me put it at the right place so i'm putting it over here I think it will look good if I will but before that let me just check the comment box if I have anything uh, to answer over there definitely I would love to answer your queries so Rishikesh Mondal thank you very much dear for joining me in this tutorial and then the coding car okay so you uh, I, I think you like cars very much that's the reason in the surname you have put this car great great to see that okay uh, let me see who else is there with me right now in this tutorial okay so we have lecture Aryan thank you very much dear for uh, joining this lecture and for I hope uh, making this app or game you will uh, you I think you will face some difficulty and I don't want that to happen right so please be there with me throughout the tutorial and do not skip any part fine 
Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to define the code for this goalie. Okay, so for that we require an event. This is the event when flag is clicked. So when the flag will be clicked, what I want is uh, I would like to see it moving automatically from this point to this point and from this point to this point and again it should uh, you know go on moving like this from left to right and from right to left right automatically itself so what we can do we can come up over here and I think set rotation style will help us in doing the same I'm putting it over here and <coughs> so in the when the game will start I would like to see it where it is getting reflected right now so we can simply make use of this go to x block we can place it over here I think that will be a good option now let's do one thing okay so we can also do another we can also code it in the other way and the other way is that if the user will press the uh, uh, let's say a key uh, A if the user will play the uh, press the A key then something should happen so that's how we are going to now define the code for this goalie but before that we need to define this forever block because I want that code to be repeated forever till the game is on till the game uh, uh, you know till the time user will, uh, stops the game so we can come down over here we can put this if loop and then we need uh, this sensing block the name of which is not touching I want this one yes so when let's say when this A key will be pressed so I would like it to point in the direction uh, where is that point direction not yes so we can put it over here point in direction 90 and besides that you know it should move three steps in this direction so I think this is the block which can help us in doing the same now we can copy this entire code and uh, sorry this if loop and we can create a duplicate of this and we need to put it right below this first one so this we this is going to happen when key A will be pressed by the user and this is going to happen when key uh, let me just see if I have Z in this options yes so if Z will be pressed I would like it to point uh, in this direction that is minus 90 and it should move three steps in that direction let me see uh, what is the output we'll get so I'm hitting this flag button and that's how uh, the bigger view of this game looks like so if I press A I'm able to see it moving in the right direction if I'll press if I'm pressing Z I'm able to see it moving in the left direction so it's looking extremely amazing isn't it see how beautiful it is looking right and as you can see you know this thumb is also changing when I am when it is moving in the left direction the thumb is appearing in the left side and when it is moving in the right direction the thumb is appearing in the left side how beautiful it is looking amazing just try it out so if you are there in front of your system uh, start coding this uh, game that I am developing right now for you guys right in case you come across any issue do let me know in this lecture only so that I can sort out all your issues thank you very much in, in advance for that ok let's move to this second sprite which is the ball sprite right and let me define this block first for this sprite so when the flag will be cleared I would like some code to get executed forever and the code is this so I would like to uh, you know initially uh, I'm making use of this go to x block I'm putting it over here now y position let's uh, make it minus 
minus 129 is also a better choice no problem and then x position if I want to make it dependent on this mouse x I think we can find it in the sensing section mouse x yes if I put it over here let me just check what is the output we will get so wherever the user uh, you know will move his mouse so the ball will move accordingly right so that's how with the help of your mouse you will be able to now control the movement of this ball along the x-axis see how beautifully this ball is moving so that's the magic of this code which I just defined in the coding workspace see how beautiful it is looking and if I enlarge the screen and show it to you so that's how it is going to look like when you will uh, you know see it on the larger window see and if I am moving this hand also simultaneously so together they are looking extremely good so I am making it a two player game so that two players can play ok let's come back on this coding part so we are done with defining uh, the code for this goalie now we have we are on the coding part of this ball ok so initially you know when the game will start I want to see the ball getting uh, I want to see the ball over here so for that I think we will have to add that go to x block so we can simply no uh, this point is uh, minus 127 and 0 let me just check if I will hit this flag so I don't want at short moment let me just put the ball over here so it's 4 and minus 1 to 9 and I need to change it to 4 I think if I hit this flag why it is changing its direction ok just because of this mouse I think it's changing its direction no problem that is completely ok fine now uh, let me define an if loop inside this for forever loop forever if control statement sorry not the loop if is a control statement uh, sorry I called it a loop ok so control statement is you know what is the difference between control statement and loop if you have certain set of statements and you want the platform on which you have defined those statements to repeat it for some number of times so you can make use of for loop while loop ok so these are some types of loops you can make use of uh, for you know uh, for making the platform which you are using for coding to execute the code or to run some line of statements for some number of times right it can be three times also if you want you can uh, run them uh, five times also it totally depends upon the requirement right and if you want to control the execution of uh, a set of statements or a statement right based on the condition if, uh, the interpreter compiler otherwise it should not be executed if you want to do something like that so if you can make use of so it's a control statement it's not a loop remember this thing okay so let me put this mouse down block over here what should happen so I would I would like to see this ball going towards the goal right so for that we will have this block inside this if loop now here I would like to change it to 0.5 because one is a uh, greater value one is very big ok and then I would like to pick up a random value somewhere in between minus 80 to 80 for this x part so we can make use of this pick random block available in the operator section and we can simply define minus 80 over here and 80 over here in the second part right ok and here in this y I don't want to see anything any movement along the y axis so I am defining 0 let me move the ball I am able to move the goalie and 
okay i'm able to move the goalie also let me now click the on this uh, football i'm able to see it flying see how beautiful it is looking amazing right okay so it is moving in both the direction see great extremely good. before that i would like to see if you have any queries the ones who are there with me right now in the lecture first of all thank you very much for being there with me and let me now check if you have any queries anything you want to answer just put it in the chat box comment box i will definitely answer your queries okay so uh, perfectorial boys you already know this excellent dear uh, thank you very much for sharing your views okay uh, if you want to you know may if you want me to modify it uh, more or if you want me to add some more features to this uh, game over here just put those things share your views with me okay you have that comment box available on youtube right why we have that comment box so that you guys can share your views with your teacher right just share your views if you want to uh, if you want me to add some more features to this put put those things in the comment box i will definitely try to do that thank you very much okay now let me click bring this when flag is clicked block over here so when the flag will be clicked i would like certain things to happen forever till the time the user stops the game so the first thing i would like should happen is we haven't defined uh, anything for the collision part you know when the ball will collide with this goalie what should happen that's what we have to define right so that is the reason why i have used this forever block over here so let's do that the first thing i require active is this soccer ball okay so when the soccer ball will touch this goalie what should happen let me so if the y position if the y position of the ball so i can find from uh, from here it's present in the is the one with the help of which you can get yourself okay so let me just search for goal chair okay so ha huh. that is an excellent sound it is going to uh, you know make our game more appealing it should go away let me now uh, enlarge the size of the screen and see how our game looks like window let's see how whether we are going to get the correct output or not so i'm able to move this ball i'm able to move this goalie and let I'm so now when when it this ball will hit this goalie uh, the goal sound will not be uh, you know we'll not be able to hear the goal sound but if the goalie is not there and if it touches this net we'll be able to hear that goal sound it is, this is the variable i am using the name of this variable is a score and as you can see it's getting reflected right on the top over here this check box and it will come back now if the y position is greater than 2 automatically it's it will be a score changing by 1 right and initially i don't want uh, the value initially when the game will start i would like to see the value of score equal to 0 so that's how we can do it right best possible way right and please as a providing coding classes and that too free of cost right and this coding is going to benefit you a lot and as i have told you in the previous classes also if you want to develop something big something great something innovate and you have uh, the power and ex very good discount on the course fees all right so this is it from my side in this lecture have a great life have a great future god bless